and uh, welcome to a game I've been playing for a little while called Fishing Simulator, and I've gone to a decent level where I kind of got bored with the game because there's not really much after that, and it would take a while to grind all the late game items, so I just wanted to make a quick video showing how I make like 150,000 gold plus in only an 80 slot backpack every run. Uh, it all lies in Ancient Shores, which I think is level 40 or 45, so keep that in mind. But if you're a lower level, I have a secret split, a place where you can also make a lot of money that I used until I got to Ancient Shores. So uh, stay in tune for that later in the video. So the first thing you want to do is, you know, get in your boat and uh, head to Ancient Shores. And uh, it's not really that hard, but it's just really, I mean, if you have the fish tracker, even better, too. So when you get the Ancient Shores, as you know, there's a, a river puzzle to unlock the river, which is what we're going to need. So if you do that, uh, on top of getting the good fishing spot, you also get 600 gems for free, 500 in the chest during the quest, and then 100 for an achievement. So, yeah, just head over. And we'll there. Now head over here. And you just want to fish in the river. If you have a fishing tracker, uh, it's great for here. Sometimes there's not a spot, sometimes there is. Just check every now and then because it does reset randomly. So I'm just going to check all the places. Okay. Oh, in the world, I'm glitched. What? Okay. Uh, I'll just take the balloon here. But the fish you're going to want um, is called the tiger fish or the angler fish, I think. Into chores, yeah. The piranha. Sorry, it looks like an angler fish. A piranha or the um, tiger fish. Now, the thing about the tiger fish is that it can get upwards of $3,000. I actually have a huge red glow angler, I mean, a huge red glow tiger fish in my aquarium, and it sells for over $13,000. I think like $13,500. That's the single most expensive thing I've ever gotten. I said I was going to take the balloon, but I don't know why I took the boat. Um, so, I'm going to teach you something, right? If you have a Razer keyboard, you can get Razer Synapse, and you can set it up so instead of having to use your mouse to constantly click, you can set it up so pressing Control on your keyboard will actually use a left click. So if you want to be lazy and actually be able to use your right hand to do homework or watch a video, uh, then you could set up your keyboard to make it so your left hand can actually reel and fish. All you have to do is just look at your screen. So when you get here, just chuck your rod in if you don't have the fish catcher, and just you know, skip past the rares, uncommons, or comments, and it shouldn't take too long. My rod is maxed and it's a mythical, so uh, I make insanely good money. Uh, how I got up to this point was the secret fishing spot, and once I got good enough boats, I'd go out and hunt orcas until my backpack was full, bring them back, and I'd get around more than $20,000 each haul. And uh, that's what got me so far uh, up to this point. So, once you find one, you catch a piranha. Baby. Baby and huge are worth the most. I think. So, yeah. You just do that. It happens. It takes me, like... Uh, I don't... I've never really counted, but... Less than... Uh, I'd say maximum 30 minutes to get a full inventory, right? I think. Just put on a YouTube video to sign. I have, like, a, another monitor set up so I can just watch it on that screen. And you just do this. Sometimes you get really lucky if you have a fish tracker and you get a good spot. I got like three tiger fish in a row once. So I was just pounding it. And these fish are worth a lot of money in groups, right? So, use that. Once you have like half an inventory or a full inventory, you can just go hunt orcas if you don't want to do it any longer. But the most I got, I had a full 80 slots only filled with angler fish and tiger fish. I mean, piranha and tiger fish. I got 176,000 gold in just a single go. And I found that just insane because that is a lot of money just to get for 80 slots in a backpack. And I maxed my boat, I maxed my fishing rod, 
Um, I, st I still have extra. I don't, I don't know what to use it on because I'm not really going to be playing this anymore. But yeah, so. And yeah, $2,400 just for a regular and $1,875 just for a baby piranha. And think about a full inventory. 150000 plus easy. And that's only if you have 80 slots. Just trust me, like... Okay, um, yeah. It's super good. Uh, fish Tracker is highly recommended. If you use codes, look up Fishing Simulator codes on Google. You'll get a list of codes. And you can get 2,400 gems from some of those codes alone. So that'll give you pretty much almost everything you need in the shop. Now, the second spot you're going to want is Watcher's Bay. And this is for beginners. Honestly, you can use it whenever. I know a freaking level 170 plus person who fishes here regularly. This is a great spot and you can unlock it no matter what level you are. Now, you can have just the outside area, you know, the outside, and then there's a secret spot where what you're going to be wanting is a fish called the bear fish. Now, this is a mythic fish, and you only can get them in a secret spot on this island, and yes, it is a reference to Spongebob. For which once you're in the secret spot, it enables you to catch four fish. The discus, the giant sea bass, yellowfin tuna, and the sea bear, but you're only going to be going for the sea bear and the yellowfin tuna. I also have a shiny yellowfin tuna. I'll show my aquarium after that. It's actually pretty cool. So it's all the way back here. There's two waterfalls, but this is the one you want. It's right there. And you just swim over and you hop inside. Now, you cannot catch the sea bear unless you are standing in this cave. This is the only spot on the map you can catch it. And, you know, just a full inventory. It'll fetch you a lot of money. Not as much as a tiger fish. See, I already got a legendary. Uh, there's only four fish you can catch in this spot. So, you're not going to get a bunch of random stuff. It is... See? Like, even if you don't have a good rod, like, I came here with my, uh, friend, and I did not have a good rod at all. And I caught five sea bears before I left the area. And that was the most money I ever made on one go, ever. It was great. Uh, this spot led me through my early game. That, along with shark hunting, I invested heavily in uh, sea monster hunting early on to make more money. That was a really good decision. And if there we go. Their mythical is usually easy to reel, and you just gotta have good reaction time and. Let's see what size it is. It's a huge. That's great. That's the uh, most expensive one you can get. Make sure to reset when you get back. It's just faster. It's not like you have to pay for feel. And uh, just one tip. People will get frozen whenever they uh, talk to this caster. But that's only because if you click sell all, it freezes you. Sell everything. So what you want to do. See, look. A huge sea bear. $3,000. And that's like unlocked as soon as the end of the game. It's just great. Now, the elephant tuna aren't worth that much, but if you have a full inventory worth of sea bears and elephant tuna, you'll make a great amount of money just for the start of the game. And, uh, yeah. That's my tips. That's how I got up. And, uh, I'd recommend investing in shark hunting early on. Just get a boat. I'd recommend getting the first speed boat, which is like 7000 or something dollars. Just fishing, shark hunting, it's great. Uh, you can go to you can over there get some gems, but I didn't need to at all. Use your quest. It's uh, great. Yep. See ya. If you want more content from Roblox, feel free to like and subscribe. It helps out. Makes me motivated. And uh, bye.